Assalamu alaikum and hi everyone. Today we are going to learn subtopic 2.3.2 arc length. So if you refer to your module, you may turn to page 148. Okay, page 148. So now let's take a look at the definition of arc length. Suppose that we have a curve which has the vector equation of RT equals to FTI plus GTJ plus HTK where T is from A to B or equivalently the parameter equations X equals to FT, Y equals to GT and Z equals to HT where F prime, G prime and H prime continuous. Basically, the formula of arc length is involving the integration and denoted as L. We have integration of magnitude of R prime T from A to B. And this is the formula of arc length in two dimensions. I have prepared some other examples for you. So, let's take a look at this slide. Okay, so now, this is the formula of arc length in 3D. And this is the simplified version of the formula of arc length. Okay, we have integration of magnitude r prime t from A to B. So look at example number 1. Find the length of the arc of the circular helix with the vector equation rt equals to 2 sine ti plus 2 cos tj plus 3k from the point 0 to 0 to the point 0 to 6 pi. So if you look at this question, the missing information here is we don't have the interval of t. Okay, so we don't have the interval of t here. So first of all, we need to find what is the interval of t so that we can integrate the magnitude of r prime t. So find from the point Zero to zero. Okay, guys. Now, actually, we can consider either x coordinate, y coordinate, or z coordinate. But the easiest way is by consider the polynomial equation. So here we have z equals to three t. Okay. So three t. And then from this point, we have z coordinate equals to 0. Okay, so we can write 3t equals to 0, therefore t equals to 0. In this question, the circular helix is measured to the point. Again, z coordinate equals to 3t. And then we have here 6 pi. Okay, so we equate 3t with 6 pi. Then t equals to 2 pi. Therefore, the interval of t is from 0 until 2 pi. Next. We need to find the magnitude of r prime t. So we have r t equals to 2 sine t to cos t and then we have 3 t. So differentiate this we get 2 cos t negative 2 sine t, differentiate 3t, we get 3. So find the magnitude of r prime t. We have square root of 2 cos t squared 
plus negative 2 sin t squared plus 3 squared. So we have square root of 4 cos squared t plus 4 sin squared t plus 9. Okay, so next we can factorize 4. We get cos squared t plus sin squared t plus 9. So actually these trigonometric expressions can is equivalent to 1 by using the trigonometric identity. So we have square root of 4 multiplied by 1 plus 9. So we get square root of 13. Okay, next we can calculate the arc length. So again, I will rewrite the formula of arc length equals to L, the integration from A to B of the magnitude of R prime T. So we have at length equals to integration from 0 until 2 pi. Just now we get magnitude of R prime T equals to square root of 13. So with respect to T. Okay. So square root of 13 can be put here and then integrate 1 with respect to T. We get T substitute 0 until 2 pi. We get square root of 13 multiplied by 2 pi. So this is the answer. Done. Next example. Find the arc length of the graph of RT where RT is equals to 2 over 3 T QI plus 4 TJ plus 2 T squared K. And now in this question, no need for us to find the interval because the interval is already given here. Okay, so we can straight away find the R prime T. So differentiate 2 over 3 T cube, we will get 2 T squared. Differentiate 4 T, we get 4. Differentiate 2 T squared, we get 4 T. And then find the magnitude of R prime T. We have square root of 2 T squared squared plus 4 squared plus 4 t squared so we will have 4 t to the power of 4 plus 16 plus 16 t to the squared okay if we substitute the magnitude in the formula of arc length then we will have uh, integration like this integration from 1 until 3 because we have the interval of t from 1 until 3 so substitute this expression 4 t to the power of 4 plus 16 plus 16 t squared dt however guys this expression is difficult to be integrated so what we should do now is we have to simplify this okay so that our integration would be easier. So how do we simplify the expression? Okay, look at the first term. We have 4t to the power of 4. So first of all, let us open this bracket. So square root of 4t to the power of 4 is actually 2t squared. Okay, and then we have 16. So square root of 16 is 4. So plus 4 squared. Okay, now, let us expand this quadratic equation. So, we have 2t squared plus 4 multiplied by 2t squared plus 4. So, if we expand this, we can get this one. 4t to the power of 4 plus... This one minus this one. So, 4t to the power of 4 plus 8, sorry. Eight t squared plus 4 times 2t squared is 8t squared 
plus 16. So we get 4 t to the power of 4 plus 16 t to the power of 2 plus 16. So actually, this expression is the same like inside of this square root sign, right? Thus, square root of 4t to the power of 4 plus 16t squared plus 16 can be simplified as square root of 2t squared plus 4 squared. Okay? So now, the formula of arc length can be written as from integration from 1 until 3. So this expression can be substituted by this expression now. Okay? So we have square root of 2t squared plus 4 squared. Okay, dt. Right, now, we have square root sign with squared here. So, this square root sign with this squared can be cancelled. So that we have integration. From 1 until 3, 2t squared plus 4 dt. See? The expression becomes easier now. So, it's easier to be integrated. We have 2 over 3 d cubed plus 40. Substitute 1 until 3, then we have 2 over 3, substitute 3 cubed plus 4 times 3, minus 2 over 3 times 1 cubed plus 4 times 1. So we have 30. minus 14 over 3 so the answer is 76 over 3 okay so done for this question that's the answer okay so guys you may try all of these exercises and the answers already given good luck that's all thank you